Trial continued today for a Virginia Beach woman accused of trying to kill her children. Lorita Aiken admits she tried to poison herself and her two kids in 2013. Her husband found them all unconscious in their home. Today, lawyers haggled over her mental health. Ten of your sides, Deanna LeBlanc, was also in the courtroom. So, Deanna, what else happened? Well, Nicole, today we heard from Lorita Aiken's primary care, her psychiatrist, and two separate forensic psychologists who interviewed her after her arrest. Now, it's important to note that what's at stake is her mental state, whether she was sane or insane at the time of this alleged crime. No one is disputing that she poisoned and attempted to murder her children and kill herself. She pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity in February. Now, the prosecution, of course, is trying to prove that she did did know right from wrong that she chose with sanity to kill her children. Now, one psychologist testified today that Aiken told him she was trying to, quote, protect her children from being burdened by her husband by putting them to sleep to wake up with God. He testified that she told him the husband was abusive, that she thought she was protecting the children, and that obviously shows that she didn't know right from wrong because she thought that murder at that moment, he says, shows that she thought that was right and therefore she didn't know right from wrong. Though uh, the other psychologist, the other forensic psychologist testified that Aiken did know right from wrong, that she was sane. And the prosecution argued that she told a police officer immediately after the incident that she drank a lot of wine before she uh, fed her children the medicine because she didn't want to think about what she was doing. And she also told the officer that she didn't want her husband to deal with the kids after her death, alluding to the fact that she was suicidal. And that's why she was poisoning the children. Now, she also told her psychiatrist who testified in court that she had a suicide plan. The defense, of course, argued that Lorita Aiken was over medicated and suffered also from a syndrome of having too much serotonin, which could cause a psychotic break. Now, testimony just wrapped up. There is no decision yet today. But again, the question is whether she was sane or insane at the time of committing that act. Now, the prosecution says she changed her story to that wanting to put her children to sleep after she learned of the charges against her. But again, the judge has yet to make a decision. This will be continuing tomorrow. And as soon as the judge has a ruling, we'll let you know. Live in Virginia Beach, I'm Deanna LeBlanc. Ten on your side.